right, thanks for tuning in once again. Here we are, you locals. We are gonna cut the 15 inch Memphis Shade windshield here. So what I went ahead and did, just to kind of cut, cut down on time, I went ahead, sat on the bike, looked at it, my short, my short butt um, couldn't really see over this. I mean, I, I tended to kind of slouch so I could look either through it or over it. So I kind of decided, you know what, I'm going to cut it and, you know, make some extra content. But what happened was I was originally going to ship it back to Memphis Shade. But because of the size of the windshield and then the packaging and everything else, I was looking at about $60 just to ship it back. So I said, F that, I'm going to cut it. So I just have another windshield. So what I went ahead and did was I took my 11 inch windshield and I kind of measured it as you can see and that's what gave me that line which looks pretty good this is about two and a half inches I looked through it and I believe I was okay with with cutting off three inches but then that would have put the windshield at 12 inches and that would have been kind of like what I already have just one inch uh, higher so I went ahead and moved it back up to two and a half inch cut bringing it down to, uh, bringing it up to 13 and a half. Uh, no, is that right, 12 and a half? Yeah, this one's 15, my old one is 11. My old one is 11 inches, so if I would've cut three off of it, that would've just been 12 inches. So, now it's 12 and a half, the way I have it here. So, what I went ahead and also did was protect kinda my risers and my my other stuff behind here, the Plex audio system, I'm covering up my bars and the risers because this, this is my first time cutting plastic. Uh, I've cut uh, other materials before, working in a body shop. So what I recommend for you guys to do is just cut above this little, this line. That way you can just sand it and kind of get it, get that finish going down into it. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and cut just a little bit over this line and then sand down to it to kind of so so we can have that that finish up here let's go ahead and uh cut this down use safety as always protect your eyes sand down we're gonna sand down to this mark right here just to kind of clean it up it looks like crap so we're just gonna clean up this uh, this edge finish line now sanded it down with the 220 and I mean we're sanding it down just to make it a little bit faster so we're not sanding here all, all day so we're gonna finish with the 800 grit and for my old uh, body shop days this is what we used to do we would fold this in, uh, in three parts so whenever something would get clogged we'll switch it over to the other side be a lot quicker and it's already wet so this is a wet sand uh, sanding paper. And then the reason why we don't use a block is because this is a, a curved um, a, a curved finish and end. So you don't you don't want to use a sanding block. You kind of just want to fill it with your hands. Want to be able to fill it with your hands for sure. So you know that it's uh, uh it's just something that you kind of learn over the years. So whenever you have a round finish, you always want to sand it down with your hand. Because if you go with a block or a, or a flat head, you're going to start to get um, flat spots. So that's why we don't use, we don't use sanding blocks on, on, on curves. So you always just want to feel it with your hand. 
So yeah, this is the 800 grit. This is just to kind of get rid of all those big ugly scratches from the uh, from the cutoff wheel and from the, uh, I believe the other one was 100 grit or 80 grit. It just kind of works a lot better too when the sanding paper is wet. It gives you a nice finish. Hey, get back, don't drink that. <laughs> yeah, you see right here, there is no tape. That's me kind of messing up. I should have put some, I should, this, 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 this should have been tape all over here. And that's just to kind of prevent chipping. And uh, what happened probably was I thought I had it on there. Because I had it, I, I, I should have masked it off the tape, off the bike, and then put it back on the bike to kind of cut it off so I could have a good, uh, a good hold, a good base. So is there any other tips for me to give you guys? Uh, yes, there is. Honestly, if you don't have the tools or the, the tape or anything like that, and you're thinking about doing this, uh, it's actually cost you less to buy another windshield from Memphis Shades and then to get the tool if you don't have the tool. But I mean, it'd be nice to have the tool. So if you're thinking about using Dremel or buying a Dremel and, uh, or if you already have one, then you could do, you could definitely do this. But if you're thinking about just getting a Dremel just to cut your windshield, uh, it's actually cheaper just to buy one from Memphis Shades because the materials, sanding paper, uh, the tool, everything, I believe it's a little bit, it's close to $100. So yes, it'd be nice to kind of have this stuff. And, and honestly, I'm actually gonna paint my helmet. So I already need the masking tape, I need the sanding paper, and I need the, uh, I probably don't need the Dremel for that, but I'm always working on stuff, so. I It's nice to have it. I have a I have a couple grinders, angle grinders. So you can I mean you could probably try using that if you have a grinder. I would I wouldn't recommend using a jigsaw or uh, or a hacksaw or you know any other other saws. It needs to be a smooth uh, rotating, nothing that's gonna break your your windshield. Because if you do that other type of sign, you're definitely gonna get a lot more chips in the finish, guaranteed. So. I would recommend a grinder with the cutoff wheel for plastics and, and wood or a Dremel. And don't go, like I mentioned, if, if you're going to keep the tools for future, then go ahead and by all means try it out yourself. But other than that, if you're only doing it just to cut off a windshield, I, you know, I'd recommend just buying another one from Manfin Shades. So now it actually looks pretty good. And then the, I keep the uh, the tape in place because it doesn't get in the way at all. And it's good to kind of have it so you could get some placement so you could really grab the uh, the windshield, you see? So I'm not damaging the windshield even because there's even, there's little, these micro little particles. If you drag this on the surface, you're gonna get little scratch marks. So that's why I'm trying to avoid not touching the windshield too much because it's all over the place. I'm touching where the masking tape is. That way, once I rinse this off, I'll be able to kind of touch it a little bit more comfortable. But as of right now, you don't want to drag. That's how you get those little swirl marks in, in the black paint, is by uh, when you wash your, your vehicle, there's a little bit of debris, there's little particles. And when you're rubbing it, you're making tiny little scratches on the paint. And that's why, that's why you get those swirls. And with the black paint, it's really difficult to kind of hide. And that's because it's a white clear coat. And when you scratch a clear coat, it turns white. And on a black surface, it, they stand out a whole lot more. So that's why you see the swirl marks a lot more on a on a uh, on a black car than you do on a on you know any other colored silver. Or, you know, the lighter the color, the more the more uh, the more it'll blend in. But a black. They definitely stand out, so. Here's the windshield, cut off about two inches and a half. And now we're gonna take a look at the final product. What do you think, Riley? She looks pretty good? Hmm? 
don't say anything if you think it looks good. Yeah, that's what I thought. Looks pretty good. This is a 800 grit sanding surface. As you can see, it looks pretty stock. All right, so now we got to clean it up. So that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys want to try this out on your own windshield, you can. So just uh, just sanding, that's pretty much it. And make sure you mask off properly. So we're going to clean this windshield up. And we're thinking about tinting it, putting a vinyl wrap on it. And that'll be that'll be another video so thanks for watching like comment and subscribe i have a lot more videos on the channel later